so episode 16 of the Jimmy Mewitt Challenge. Obviously, last episode, a bit of a disaster losing to uh, to Wigan as, as uh, heavy as we did, but it's part of the game. Brought a few new players in. I kind of lost track a little bit with the whole, the, how we were trying to play the game. Now, to me, I mean, I don't know if you agree, to me, the Jimmy Mewitt Challenge is trying to get the best for Jimmy Mewitt. So, trying to get the most goals, most assists, most apps, trying to play him as striker as much as possible. And perhaps I've gone away from that a little bit in the last few episodes. So today, we'll have a look at how he's getting on. He's almost got up, caught up with his stats for the whole of last season already. And uh, and yeah, we'll have a little look. We've brought in some new players, signed a couple of loan players. We brought that young lad back on loan from Reading. No, MK Don, sorry. The one that we sold at the start of the season. Uh, brought in some new midfielders, Jack Bridge, players like that, all ex-pros. Um, pretty much looking at going for it next season. Because the current state of the league, I think it's going to be very tough for us to catch um, those playoff places. We will have a look, just to introduce you to someone very special while we're here. Got a little bit of help for today's episode from... Princess Baby Mia, the angriest cat in the world. So that's all good. Say hello, Mia. No, I don't know from my bullshit already. So it's just loading up. I'll move that out of the way. As we can see, if you haven't already seen me, that is my image that is in the game. Why I'm so white, I have no idea. Look how pale my hands are. I'm literally a ghost. Really nice brogues, though. So that kind of makes up for it. The Jimmy Mia Challenge. Let's get into it. I think we've got a game ready to go. Jimmy has scored a couple of goals in the last couple of games, but I think they've been losing. There was one of them that we, we drew where we should have won. And, and it was unfortunate. So who have we got? We've got Aldershot today. I think it was, was it this game? Look, that's our, our league position. So we're up in 12, eight points off the playoffs with 14 games. It's going to be tough. Jimmy Mewitt, top scorer now. If you give me that at the start of the season, I'd have been buzzing. Schedule. I, th I think it was this game he scored in. No, had Harvey Bradbury scored in that one. Ridiculous goal. His first goal for the club. It was this one. Scored a header. Should we see that? I want to see that goal. It was a very, really good quality header. And also, I'd totally bypass me the fact that there's a player called York. Where's he at? Is he on there? Oh yeah, where's York? Plays for York. So if you can think of any others um, that have played for teams where it shows their name, then feel free to let me know. Two early goals in this game, and then not a lot else after that. So I'll have a little look if it can show us it. Takes forever to load goals for some reason. Wildstone are all the way down in 15th as well, and we're at home at the York Community Stadium, so that's a pretty disappointing result. Bearing in mind we're eight points away from the playoffs. If we'd have won that one, there's so many games where we should have won or we should have drawn, and they just get away from us a little bit, so maybe that's to do with me tactically. Is this going to let me show you? I'll have a quick look at his stats after this, and then we'll get into the game against Aldershot, who I believe... Are either second or third. So it should be a pretty tough game. But we'll wait and see. Are we are we ever gonna get to see? I don't know. <sighs> Perhaps it was a little bit ambitious for me to try and show you the uh, the highlights, but we're in there now. Here we go. Generating match report. Shouldn't be too long. Here we go. Is it going to show it? So this is their goal, I think. Yeah, look, he's missed his header. He just runs through. Bangs it from a very, very long distance out. This is ours. Cross by York. Header back to where it came from. Jimmy Mewitt. Look, and he gives it the uh, the old one-arm roll celebration. So let's click on... Uh, where is he, the young... Oh. The young Jimmy Mewitt. 
What's it doing here? Blooming hell. Stress. All right, let's have a look. Squad. Have a look at the stats overall. There we go. 10 goals, 2 assists. We've actually brought in somebody who you all may know in Isaac Hutchinson, son of the aforementioned Toby Hutchinson. And he has some banging stats. I tried to try, uh, tried to sign him on a permanent deal, but they weren't really having it. They wanted 100k for him. Um, but he would be a very good player for us, I think. Um, and his, his actual contract runs out at the end of this year. So that would be great to, to get him signed on. Can we sign him now? No, not yet. So we'll have a look at it in the future. Anyway, moving forward, York. We're 12th, they're 3rd. Let's see what we can do. Let's have a little look at... Yeah, this lad's injured, the, the really good winger from Southampton. He got himself injured on international duty, so that's good. So we brought Isaac in to kind of offer a bit more on the bench. And that's the team we're going for. So Jimmy Mutes plays an inside forward on the left wing. So let's, let's see how we get on. Oh, I'll number these two. Boom, 22 and 35. I'm sure they're uh, classic numbers, yeah, for their positions, definitely. <clears throat> okay, so... Obviously, uploading a video a day. I'm still keeping you up to date, but we're going to fly through this. I'm off tomorrow. So we're going to try and fly, fly through this save. I don't think we'll make playoffs this season, which is bad in a way, but it's good in a way. It also gives us a chance to do better in that FA Trophy. I kind of prioritise the FA Cup, because obviously that's the glory in it. Um, so there we go. He's a very good player, this Chisler. On the left wing, he gets a lot of goals and assists for them. So good luck, lads. Hand it over. So no one said anything, so that's going to go one way or the other. And we'll get into the action. As I was saying, oh dear. One minute in, he's going to bang this top bins. Absolutely top bins it. Oh, it's a good save. There you go. We've got a yellow card already. Flipping hell. They're playing a 4 2 3 1. Right, they're having a lot of uh, joy there. So I, I think we need to nail down formation, a style, and we need two centre backs, or at least one, I think. But we'll look at that in the summer. Can we nick this ball? Can we nick this ball? Anybody going to get pressure on? Bearing in mind we've got high pressure set. That's horrendous. He's going to get an assist here. Oh, just let him just run inside and score. So that's good. No distance on the cross. Very little pressing. Let's him take a touch inside. Okay, keeper can't do a lot about that. He's bent it like Henri. Four backs let him come inside way too easy. I know he's not particularly fit, but come on. That's a shocker. Like I said, our, our main objectives were A, get Jimmy some goals. We've done that. B, be completely safe of relegation. We've done that. It's been quite an enjoyable season, but we've got to turn some of these. We haven't scored enough goals. Look, look at everyone. Well, they've got three and six, but apart from that, they've got 11, 15. Uh, we'll probably bang in the middle. Mid table. I had, a, I had a snap your hand off for that at the start of the season, so I can't really go back on that. Here we go. Can we get an, uh, an attack on the go? Jimmy Mewitt in on the ball. Smashed forward. Slide Jimmy Mewitt in. Please slide Jimmy Mewitt in. Ah, oh, double save by the goalkeeper. Uh, this game has got some weird bits about it, like the way that you can you craft the opportunities to score sweaty goals. Um, but they just never they never square it. They always want to shoot from ridiculous angles or they never just slide the person in at the back post, so that's a bit frustrating. I wonder if there's a way you can get them to do that, but I've not seen it yet. We're not doing too bad. We've just made one mistake, really. So we'll see how we get on. If there's another goal uh, game nearby, goal. if there's another goal, uh, game nearby, we'll probably play that as well 
I'll wait for a bit and then I'll go 3-5-2 here, I think. Still, still creating a little bit. Right, let's have a little look. We'll go like this to start off with. And we'll get Isaac on for his debut. Like that. Mm. Doesn't really like that. Go on then. Go on, Jimmy. Go and score as a goal, pal. Can we hit him? Cautious obviously just makes you play on the counter attack. I think I preferred it when it just said defensive, counter attack, balanced, attacking, ultra attacking, because it's a little bit vague, but kind of just have to work that out. Harvey Bradbury set free. Go on, Jimmy. Go on, Jimmy. Oh, thought he was going to bang that top bins. There are some other players that we've got our eyes on. We can maybe go through that at the end of the season. I'm going to get him on and then I'm going to bring him off, him on and we'll go for it because we're losing anyway so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Jack Bridge hasn't really done a lot since he's uh, signed for the club on the... Not exactly cheap. Uh, sorry, I was waiting to see that highlight. Not exactly cheap but relatively quite cheap. I think he was about 50k. And we've got quite a lot to spend, especially with that FA Cup run. Right, we're going to have to go for it. This is what we'll do. We'll just go like this, like this, like this, and we'll go for it. Can we win the header? No. Well, we won it, but it went straight to them. Can we press? No. Oh, God. Oh, God. This has all gone horribly wrong. What have I done? Oh, I got away with it. Right, come on, let's go all out attack. Say to them... Is he going to let me say something to him? Oh, I'm not allowed. No, oh, he said it already. 1-0, come on. Can we get one more chance? Well, that's not good. Can we get one more chance? Ah. Well, that's the end of that one then. Just came up against the better team. So there you go. Let's move on. Like I said, they're all happy. We'll get a good pre-season underneath us. See, oh, we'll play that Dover game. We'll, we'll play that Dover game. We'll see what we can do. Um, I might go 4-4-2 in that game and get Jimmy back up front again. Um, we'll see what we can do in the market. I think if we finish 10th, we might be able, able to look at another team in the league above because this league is going to be very, very difficult to get um, to get out of. So it's just saving now. I mean, it takes a while with the saving, but it just proves that um, there's no... Uh, obviously, we said before, oh, I've woke her up. Baby Mia. The angriest cat in the world. You're gonna attack me. <laughs> you like your chin. You like your chin. There we go. I think. Should we? I nearly finished saving now. Yeah, like I was saying, so if we were able to, if we do stay in this league with this team, we'd be able to have another chance at getting Jimmy to the, um, to Wembley, hence the name, Wanderers to Wembley. We're still only eight points off, so it just shows you if we, if we just picked up a couple more wins, look, we haven't won in five now, a lot of draws though, a lot of draws. Okay, let's come out of that, let's go into this, clear that off. Tactics. Gonna go back to the four four two. Put the original Dons back in, I think. 
Just need a bit of a pick me up. So we'll go A. Okay, well that definitely isn't right. Oh, let's just round that out. And then he comes out like that. And was it this way around instead? Mm, maybe not. And then we'll have a little look at... So we'll start Isaac on the left. And then... Bridge can come in there. And then... C say, oh, that was definitely wasn't going to be him. Bridge can come in there, and C say can come in there. Um, it really pains me to play that fella after he's decided to leave us. So, absolutely bugger him. Uh, this is Jack Bridge's stats. Fairly healthy. Bit more of a baller. Could probably play him out wide, but he's got uh, pretty good passing and vision and stuff like that. So he plays centre mid. He's only 5'10 now, but big C says next to him, just breaking up play, laying it off. Um, hopefully this fella will get back soon, but he's injured, so... We'll leave out uh, Dyer for this, and we'll play this young lad. Absolutely rapid, so... He's a real-life player as well, so... Hopefully, yeah. Uh, just replaces that older head that was playing... He's a left-footed player playing at right back, and it just wasn't really working out. No pace, but we'll wait and see. Although, oh, excuse my fingers, that's what she said. Um, the young lad has really poor actual stats, just very good uh, physicals. So we'll wait and see. Playing Dover, who is seventeenth, I'd really expect to be getting a win here. I haven't won in five. If we if we go to six, might be in a little bit of trouble, but. We'll have to wait and see. Come on. Why does this take so long? We're in the National League. There's nothing to be worrying about. And we're on a, it's a Sunday, so it's a rest day. Blow me now. Yeah, so in the comments, or I'll put a card out, I'll put a, uh, a chart out. What do you think is a successful season? Is it getting Jimmy Mew? Oh, look at that. We've got Eastleigh away as well on the 22nd. So these should be two wins in a row, and then we'll we'll reassess how we're getting on. I'll lose this one now, I've said that. Um, yeah, sorry. What um, what constitutes a good season for the Jimmy Mewitt Challenge? Is it getting Jimmy into double figures and getting some assists? Is it getting Jimmy to Wembley? Is it something else with the team getting promoted? What constitutes to you, the watchers, the viewers, a healthy and successful season? So it'll come up in this. It'll come up around here somewhere. If you just click on it, 18 minutes in, roughly, and you can vote. Right, let's get into the action. No more wasting time. We won the last time we played against them. So let's see. Let's get started. Cat hair everywhere. Like I said, we'll try and fly through this, especially if we're not going to get into the playoffs. If we get into the playoffs, then obviously I'll show you every game of the playoffs and touch wood, we can get Jimmy Mewitt to his first Wembley final. But it's a bit of a long shot. Effectively, we've got to win three games before the end of the season more than all those other teams, which is, is very tough, especially we've got some big games coming up against top opposition. So... There you go. Stephen Riggs starting up front. He used to play for uh, Carlisle United. There you go. And Josh, Josh Pasley, if he's still there. He is. Was at um, White Ark with me. And uh, Al Ghul, Nassim Al Ghul, he was at White Ark after me. So there you go. Jay Reason, very good player on the scene. What am I clicking there? Here we go. I don't know any of the rest of them. There you go. Let's get into this. So, we're on positive. Not creating a lot. 
I think, although, even though they're below us, I think we're going to go curi uh, curious. Well, that would be interesting. I think we're going to go cautious. See if that can claw us back into the game a little bit. Hmm. He's demanding more. It's not a very interesting half, this. Neither side's really landed many punches. They've had four shots on target, though. So you'd think either our keeper's having a good game or they're having a bit of a stinker. I really can't be drawing this. Come on. These pass completion's a bit better. Cross completion's at 50%. Look at that. Played more games than anyone else. Oh, lies. 40 games, that's the games that he missed. Right, I'm going to change the um, thing so it shows us more highlights because I'll go for comprehensive. I, I need to work out why, why we're not getting anywhere. Ball over the, attempted ball over the top. Isaac, what you got? Can we build something? Good skills? <coughs> Excuse me, that's just the Rona. Jokes. Isaac to whip it in. Cleared, bridge on the ball, plays it back inside. Some great build-up. That's a terrible try of switch play. Okay. Right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go positive. We're going to tighten everything up a little bit. So, into the tactics, change. We're going to work it into the box. We're not going to play for set pieces. We're going to get more expressive. We're going to go down a little bit. Overlap on them wings. When we get the ball back, we're looking to go through the playmaker, short kicks, and let's step this line up a tiny little bit and press more urgently. Hopefully, that'll give us a bit of impetus to go and get some shots on target. So, we've actually implemented some ballers into the team now. So, oh, that's good. So we should actually be able to keep the ball a bit better, he says. Nice. Slide him through. Slide him through. Ugh, unlucky. Right. Can we win the header? No, just let him, Stephen Rigg, pick that up. That's good. Good header. Play him in. Is he onside? He, he isn't. It's unfortunate. Okay, so, still yet to have a shot on target, so we're going to move these players up to here. We're going to move him inside to there, and we are... Don't want to go too heavy too early, because that usually bites me in the ass. So we'll go like that. <clears throat> Maybe we will. We'll play Jimmy as the little shadow striker. Little Jimmy Mewitt. Victorian chimney sweep. Shadow striker. Boom, here we go. Three attackers. Let's see if we can go and win this game. Still without a shot on target. Can we build something? Jimmy Mewitt throws it forward. Long ball forward into Burrow. It's played back. It's sprayed out to the left wing. Can he keep it in? He can. Can we get across in? He can. York. What's York going to do here? Beat you, man. Oh, just, uh, just wide there. Still without a shot on target. That's really poor, that. Can we get one shot on target? Does that count as a shot on target? Right, can we win this ball back quickly? Good ball. Playing Jimmy Mewitt. There's Isaac, he's available again. Isaac Hutchinson crosses it in. Oh, Bridge with a shot on target. It's a bit more positive. Oh no. Here we go. Go on, Isaac, beat him. Here we go. Brad beat. Whips it in. Lay it back. Another lay back. On oh, a corner. Ah. Crosses it in. Straight through. Misses everyone. They clear it. Okay. They're throwing. Could be in danger here. Oh, he's missed it. 
Good avocado on that. Good header. Get out to it. Well done, Jimmy. Putting in a strong challenge. Oh, they've got a lot of... Here we go. On the counter. Lay it off. Lay it off. Plays it around the corner. Bradbury holds it up. Cissé. York. Cissé again. Wide to Isaac. Isaac plays it back. Cuts it in. Is he onside? Oh, corner ball. That should have been a goal. Hutchinson. Crosses it in. Clear again. Might have to have a little look at these set pieces because they're missing everyone out. Here we go. Hutchinson throws it. Long. Corner. Key only. Yeah! Tate scored. I hope you saw that. I'm really sorry if you didn't. You'll see the replay anyway. So Isaac Hutchinson, is that a, an, an assist? No. Tap in. Take it all day. Oh, I haven't switched this quick enough. Are we going to be in trouble here? So, Weber, left back. Tate. Or oh, Sprat, maybe. Out to right back. Tate, that side. Cissé, back in. Hutchinson, down there. Mew it. Well play. Up there. Ring on. McLaughlin, there. We'll go cautious and hope to see out the game. Ah, throw in. To feet. Burrows. Bridge. Into Mewitt. Back to Bridge. Wide to uh, Isaac. Isaac crosses it. Oh, Bradbury's got to score that. 13 minutes to go. And the tactic of doing nothing has worked. So Jimmy didn't score, but we've won. Joe Tate. There you go. Boom. Right. Again, that still only left us eight points clear of uh, the playoffs, but it's a win. I'll come back to you with the next episode. See you soon.